back to another Canadian beauty video. This is a long overdue and highly requested. If you didn't know, I'm Canadian and I love makeup. So it's only right that we do some chatting about Canadian makeup launches. Some of these things are new to me, some of them are new to the market. And I think it's really important as a Canadian to really highlight some of these brands that don't get enough love online or the fact that they are Canadian just doesn't get pointed out and they are quite a popular brand. So we're gonna be talking about Bite Beauty Holiday, Quo Holiday, I've got a great Liz Wattier collection along with Skin Fix and Stellar Beauty. And whether you're Canadian or not, these brands, some of them are quite readily available. And as a Canadian, you've probably heard me say multiple times chatting about things like customs, availability, shipping fees. So these are things that you can actually get your hands on more easily and it's always nice to show some love to some Canadian brands. So let's go ahead and get started. First I want to chat about what is on my eyes and I will have as much pricing and availability information as I can listed down below, but these are so pretty. This is from the new Liz Wattier collection and these are their glam pigments. I have the shade Fireworks and also the shade Superstar. I'm wearing Superstar on my eyes today. These are a really interesting formula. They're kind of like this pigmenty, chunky, even though the word chunky is normally not good, <laughs> really metallic formula. When you go in with your finger and kind of put the swatch on your skin, it really turns into this metallic, beautiful format. But there's also a little bit of glitter in there. Be careful when you open these though. For some reason, I did not really know what they were inside. And when I opened this one, I opened it upside down. You may have seen that on Snapchat. It was a disaster. There was pigment everywhere. But luckily, this is the kind of thing that you're gonna have forever. It's gonna last for so long. You only need a little bit, super impactful on the eyes. Definitely do get a little bit of fallout. I used a glitter primer with them today. I would recommend doing your eyes first, which is something I can never remember to do. And I think I did okay. Um, but if you can remember, do your eyes first. But these are so pretty. This whole launch is so incredibly giftable, especially these two items as well, in addition to those glam pigments. This is the blush, and it's in the shade Glam Celebration, and it's just beautiful. My only issue with it is that there is a silver overspray on it, and overspray for one is just annoying because the product that you're purchasing is not actually the product that you get, and on top of that, I'm now left, left with glittery silver in here, which is just one of my biggest makeup nightmares. But now that I've kind of rubbed it off, it actually is a really beautiful color. I am wearing it uh, on my cheeks today. It is a split pan, so you get a little bit of a lighter shade and a deeper shade. You can mix them together. You can go separate. And the lighter shade is a little bit of a satin finish. The deeper shade is a matte, but really beautiful, impactful color there. And looks beautiful on the cheeks. I think it could be great for the majority of skin tones. And then this lipstick is so pretty. It's in the shade 24K Glam. And it's basically one of those like jelly lips sticks that's been so popular with actual gold in there and it's beautiful. I wore this in a video, I think I wore this in my Maybelline foundation review right after I applied my, my foundation before I did my second check-in and it just has a really nice finish on the lips. It doesn't look like much in a swatch but it kind of uh, changes maybe with the heat of your body or when you're rubbing their lips together. It has a nice kind of pink hint to it. So giftable because if you don't really know what somebody likes to wear on their lips, this is easily something you could throw in your purse to hydrate. It doesn't have uh, a super thick texture. I don't want to say it's greasy, but it has a little bit of a slip to it. Doesn't last really long on the lips. Leaves a slight stain, but it's just so pretty. It does look really nice on the lips, but in the packaging, I mean, Come on. There's also two palettes in this collection, and these are kind of the least exciting part of the collection. They're not really bad, but for me personally, they're just, they're not getting me as pumped as the other items are. These highlighters are nice though. It's part of their highlighting trio. It's called the Havana Trio. They're pretty highlighters. They're an interesting texture. They kind of have this cushy feel to them, but they do look nice on the skin. The only thing that I don't love about them is they're just not really the shades that I would go for personally, but they are really nice, and it's nice that they come in this compact trio. And then the same can be said for the eyeshadow palette. This is the Smoky Nudes. And again, uh, I find Liz Wattier in general tends to do more cool toned eyeshadows. So if you like taupey, grays, all that kind of stuff, they do a beautiful job. But if these kind of shades are calling to you, I do really like the performance. A brand that's more readily available at Sephora is Stellar Beauty. And I've actually reviewed their foundation, blush, and lipstick earlier this year, I believe it was. So I will link to it down below and I chat a little bit more about what the brand kind of stands for in that as well. And these products aren't exactly brand new, but I did want to mention them because they're new to me and they are Canadian. So my highlight today, which I am really enjoying, is from this contour trio. 
It's the Face Sculptor, and it's in the shade Nebula. I think there's a lighter shade as well. I'm wearing the bronzer, and then I'm also wearing the gold highlight in here, and this is really pretty. I actually thought the bronzer was a highlight because it has this really satiny look to it, but on the skin, it does a beautiful job. It's kind of a more cool tone bronzer, not super warm, and then the highlight is so glowy as well, so really, really impressed with this. And then I also really liked the eyeshadow palette that I tried. This one is in the shade Solar. There's a few different shades, but it has kind of like browns, golds, burgundies in here. It definitely is a really unique formula, similar to the contour palette that I just mentioned, and almost similar to Liz Wattier. I don't know what it is, but it's like they're really, really satiny, but some of them come off matte on the eyes. This one here is a little bit more like a topper. It doesn't have a ton of pigment in here. I think this could be a really good kind of neutrals palette. If you're not looking for anything too bold, too pigmented, uh, I know we can all get really caught up in like, the pigmentation, is it pigmented? But like, if you can get something buildable that looks natural on the eyes, good for every day, but then you're also getting kind of some more burgundies in here, golds if you want to play around. So I think it is a really nice palette, and I have been enjoying playing with it. I am wearing it on my eyes today in addition to that Liz Wattier kind of glitter. And then lastly, newer to her line is the Stardust Lip Powder Palette, and again, this has been out for a little while, but new to me. This for me was a little bit of a miss. I don't totally understand it because I feel like if you want to put metallic on your lips you could reach for an eyeshadow of course not every eyeshadow is going to work for that and these do have kind of this creamy powder formula but when I put them on my lips the metallicness didn't really show up the gold one looked really cool toned I actually had it on my lips and, and kind of took it off so I don't I just don't totally understand it if yeah, I don't know. I was trying to come up with a scenario where this may work, but I honestly think you could just reach for an eyeshadow. If you had a really good experience with this and using it, let me know. But to me, it's just not something I would reach for. It, if it was crazy impactful and did something really super unique, then absolutely. But it just seems to act like any other powder I would put on a lipstick, and it's not something that I plan to do very often. So for me, it was kind of a miss. Quo is constantly coming out with new things, be it new permanent products, spring, summer, fall, back to school collections, but the holidays is when they really go to town. If you've been to a shopper's store mart lately, it's it's insane the amount of products that they come out with. So I figured I would pick out a few and highlight some things that I think are really good options. And it's really nice because it's super readily available. It's right there at Chopper's Drug Mart for you to grab. Quo seems to team up with Orly for the majority of their nail polishes. I'm not sure if Orly makes them and then Quo sells them, how exactly it works. But they do make some really beautiful nail polishes. They have kind of that thick brush on it, which makes it easy to paint your nails. Huge shade range. And they have a few different formulas in there as well. So this is a really cute little nail kit if you have somebody in your life who loves to paint their nails or maybe new to painting their nails. This is the Quo by Orly Breathable Treatment Plus Color Marvelous Minis and some really nice neutral shades in there with something that's a little bit more fun and glittery. The Breathable line is said to be a treatment plus a nail polish so it's supposed to help strengthen your nails so it's a really cute potentially kind of stocking stuffer or secret Santa gift. And then if you have somebody in your life who's super into nail polish, this is adorable. I love all the advent calendars. Beauty advent calendars I just think are the most fun thing ever. All I ever got at Christmas were like those 99 cent advent calendars where the chocolate tasted like cardboard, but I'll be damned if I did not wake up every day and eat that first thing. But anyways, this is the 12 Days of Colorful Healthy Nails Treatment Plus Color. Again, it's the Orly Breathable line. I'm not gonna go through because just in case you got this and you don't wanna know what's in here, but what is in here besides like telling you the shades, you're getting 12 bottles of the minis. So similar to what I just showed you in that package. And there's a bunch of different shades. There's also a treatment one in here. You're getting like a prep. So you're getting some prep products and then you're also getting some nail colors and I think it's just the most adorable packaging ever and a super special gift for anybody who loves nail things. Every holiday Quoke seems to come out with these Christmas crackers and if you're not familiar with what crackers are, essentially it's like I don't even know how to describe it. It's one of these <laughs> and you pull the sides and then there's always like a treat in there. So the ones that I used to get, again, I feel like I was getting like scammed on Christmas. Everything I'm describing to you <laughs> was so low budget, but they would have like a paper crown and a joke in there is what you get. It's super fun. It's really cute. It's the kind of thing some people will put at their Christmas uh, dinner table or put in a stocking. And these are really cute if you have a bunch of friends and you're doing like a gift exchange or something. So in the set this year, it says that there's lip glosses. I actually haven't opened it because I do want to give it away so you'll see it in an upcoming giveaway but I have tested their lip glosses so I'll get to that momentarily but I think that these are just the cutest thing ever the presentation is beautiful they're kind of in this rose gold box
box with a burgundy ribbon. You could either give someone all of them. If you're having all your friends over for dinner, you could put them at the table. You could put them in stockings. I just think it is so cute. And continuing with the Aqua lip glosses, I'm actually really, really impressed. So I think that this would make an amazing gift or again, something that you could split up. I'm all about like buying gift sets and splitting it up according to what people in your life actually like because for the most part, there's nobody in my life who would wear all of these colored lip glosses unless they're my blogging and YouTube friends and they don't need any more makeup. I think something like this could be really nice if you know someone who loves nude shades. There's a metallic in here, which is super fun. There's some deeper berry shades. You could split it up between your friends. But overall, I really like all of these lip glosses. I'm wearing this shade here and they're not incredibly pigmented, but they do have a nice amount of pigmentation. They can make great lipstick, lipstick toppers or you could use them over a lip liner like I'm wearing today or on their own. There is a smidge of stickiness, but nothing overwhelming, and that to me just means it's going to last longer on my lips, which I always appreciate. And this has a bunch of lip glosses in here and a variety of shades, and then this is a really cute item as well. Stocking stuffer, put it on the tree. It's just an individual lip gloss that comes in like this little thing that you can hang, and I just think it makes it so cute. And how many times can I say so cute? I'm sorry. In keeping with things that you can hang on your tree from Quo, they have some beauty sponges in that same format. I actually took this out because I was using it today. So these are their perfecting sponges, and what I will say is they're okay. Definitely not as good as a beauty blender. I still prefer my Real Techniques blending sponge. Partially, it's because of the shape. This is just so bizarre to me. I think it's cute that it's in a diamond shape, but it's too pointy. Like I was like jabbing myself in the eye. It's too flexible up at the top. They should have cut it shorter, shorter so that it just, I don't know, it was like way too aggressive. And then the bottom is flat, which I found was made it a little bit too hard to use. And then this one, again, I just don't love the shape. So the actual sponginess of it is okay, but the shape to me is just a little bit off. Lastly from Quo, I want to mention it is a beauty on the go trio. And I, I can't decide if I like this or not. I know that me personally, I would not want to see this under the tree but I don't think that that makes it a bad thing. It's just kind of personal preference. So in here, you're getting three gifts that of course could be split up, three kind of little palettes. So you're getting an eyeshadow palette, a face palette, and a lip palette. I don't like lip palettes. I would never reach for it again, even if the shades are nice, unless I'm like, filming like you know what I mean like if I put it on my lips I'm not going to take out a whole palette with me to touch up and I don't want to have to use a lip brush but that's like personal preference the shades in here are actually quite nice the face palette in here is really nice I really love the blush and the highlight here I'm actually wearing this highlight on my nose I wanted to test it out Quo does really good face stuff in my opinion and then the eyeshadows for me were a bit of a miss firstly because of the shade range again really cool toned light purples which is just not something I go for but the mattes in here were really dry I really really had to rub my finger in there to get the pigmentation. The shimmers were actually quite nice. So hmm, I can't really decide. I think the other Quo things that I mentioned are much better, but this is okay. It just kind of depends on the person that you're giving it to, the level of makeup experience that they have. Like if you have a complete makeup junkie in your life, I don't think that this is going to fly. <laughs> I mean, it's the thought that counts. But if you have someone who is a little bit newer to makeup, they like light application, they're kind of playing around, this could be a good option. Next, I want to chat about a brand that is newer to me, but has been around for quite some time and just kind of chat you through some products I've really been loving from them. They're actually from the East Coast, which is super special. It began in Nova Scotia. I'm a Newfoundlander, which is super East, and then Nova Scotia is also very East, currently living in Toronto. And when anybody says that Toronto is the East Coast, I'm like, first of all, not a coast, okay? We're basically in the center of the country, and just because we're not West doesn't make us East. Just saying, okay, this is not the East Coast. It's a great place. I love it. I'm so glad to be here, but it's not the East Coast. Let's talk about the brand Skin Fix. I have mentioned some of their products before, especially this one. This is the newest one to their line. It's a QVC exclusive. It's the Common Repair Sleeping Mask. This is gigantic. You're getting six fluid ounces in here, and it's beautiful. It works so nicely on the skin. If you have oily skin, dry skin, sensitive skin, especially any of these products are great for more sensitive skin types or skin issues. That's why it's called Skin Fix. But I have been loving using this at night on my face. It feels so lightweight, has this beautiful kind of calming cucumber scent. It helps with redness and moisturization. It's got oatmeal in here, cucumber, tons of great extracts, and it's in a huge pot. It's definitely 
not super cheap. It's $65, I believe, but you're getting so much product in here that you'll like never run through it. My boyfriend and I have both been using it very actively and very much enjoying it. Two other products you've heard me mention from Skin Fix before. The first is the Coconut Water Hydrating Mist. This has coconut, cucumber, lots of great things in here. It's good as skin prep. It's good as skin care kind of maintaining throughout the day your skin starts to look a little bit dry and sad. It's just a really beautiful lightweight mist. And then this, for all my thick thigh friends out there, Chub Rub is so real and this really does help. It's the Skin Fix Friction Guard. And this you basically just spray between your legs and you're just gliding along living your best life and not dying with your thighs rubbing together. I included this in a How to Stop Chub Rub video. I've got my own homemade concoction. I've got like a travel option and this one it definitely does a beautiful job as well if you're like a runner or something this could potentially work definitely not a runner so I can't attest to that but I can attest to summer thigh chub rub and how much and how painful it is so this does a beautiful job something else that I want to mention from them because I've seen amazing results is the renewing cream and this says it's clinically proven to smooth dry rough bumpy skin and kerastasis pilaris I believe I said that right. Basically, it's kind of like that chicken skin, that bumpy skin. I know I have a little bit of it on the back of my arms. Nothing bad, but when I got this, I was kind of like, let me try. I don't think it's going to do anything, but let me see. And I really feel like it has helped smooth out the back of my arms, which is just insane. So if you have any kind of rough, bumpy skin, I definitely recommend giving this a try. It has a really thick texture. I use it at night just on the back of my arms, but I've been really, really impressed with what I've been seeing. And then I quickly want to mention just a few other items from them that I have been using and liking. The foaming clay cleanser along with the foaming oil cleanser. Don't be scared about the foaming oil cleanser. It does not feel oily. It just is really light weight and I was using this in the morning when I wanted to wash my face and wanted something more lightweight. I use the clay in the nighttime and then also the energizing micro scrub. This smells just like the rough and bumpy cream that I mentioned and it has this beautiful like naturally lime scent which smells so good. So I highly recommend anything from Skin Fix. They've got great creams for eczema which my boyfriend has been using and he's really been liking. He's quite picky about his eczema creams. Um, so overall highly recommend this brand. Before we wrap this up I want to chat about a brand that's probably the most popular of the bunch and it is also a Canadian and I've hyped them up so much over the past few weeks and months that I don't want to talk about it too much. I will link to a blog post, swatch videos, all that good stuff down below. I specifically have an entire video dedicated to the Bite Beauty holiday stuff, which is amazing. If you have lip lovers in your life, this kit is like totally unisex. I mean, if, if dudes want to wear lipsticks, by all means, get them this. It's beautiful. <laughs> but this for sure is something that the whole family can enjoy. It's the Agave Lip Set. It has the scrub in here, the mask, and also the balm, which is really, really beautiful. Then they also came out with this Champagne Wishes Set. It has full-size products in here, which is amazing. So it's got a creme gloss, a multi-stick, and a lip pencil in there, all in the shade Cashew. The Perfect Bite has come out a few years in a row. This has four of their mini Amuse Bouche lipsticks in here. Fabulous. I can't say enough good things about Bite Beauty, especially their holiday stuff. And then also the Amuse Bouche Liquified Lip Set. This is a new lip product to their line, which is beautiful. It's glossy. It's full of pigment. So I'm so glad to see that it has come out in the Christmas sets. I've mentioned these lip glosses from them several times, but these are their Prismatic Creme Glosses. These are new shades. I've talked about Blush Pearl so much. It's stunning. I cannot stop wearing it. It's just so pretty and so unique. And then they also came out with two really beautiful shades in Cherry Pearl and Lavender Pearl, both super pigmented. Cherry Pearl is like the perfect holiday shade, really glossy and pigmented. And then something from them that I haven't mentioned is their Spiced Plum Amuse Bouche Lipstick. This is special for the holidays. It has little lips on the outside, which is just so cute. And it's their Amuse Bouche Liquid Lipstick Formula. Sorry, not liquid, lipstick formula. But it has a little bit of a shimmer in there. So it's nothing super intense. So I think that this could be a really special gift for a lip lover in your life who is looking for something a little bit unique, but nothing too bold. I think just about anybody could wear this. It's just one of those really flattering quintessential holiday shades with a little bit of shimmer in there. Super comfortable on the lips as it is their Amuse Bouche formula. So that is just a small selection of some of the Canadian brands that are available to you. Some of these items like I mentioned are brand new. Others are just kind of new to me and I hope you enjoyed this series. Let me know down below what brands you would like to hear more about. I've covered Marcel, Annabelle, Joe Fresh, Cover FX. There's all kinds of great Canadian brands out there so I will link to that playlist down below but if there's any products 
specifically you're looking to hear more about, let me know. The only tricky thing is, is when it comes to foundation reviews, a lot of them don't seem to make darker skin tones. I have actually talked to PR from a lot of these brands and been kind of like, hey, I want to review your foundations and I can't. What's up with that? So I'm putting the pressure on as much as I can. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.